Alrighty, today's tip says it right there. I found spacebar to go to a spot or go back. This is a really cool feature that uh, Android doesn't have, and I wanted to share that with the folks, anybody that has an iPhone. And I believe it works with an iPad as well, because if you have a keyboard on there, you should be able to do that. I don't know if you, I don't know. Anyway, I didn't test it on that. But let me go to my, let's go down to my iPhone. I'm on this message. This is a message Heather and I are having. And if I wanted to say, uh, hello, how are you? What is up? And then it got the word wrong, or I can just backspace. Everybody knows you can just backspace, and I'm swipe texting to go that. But what if, what if I wanted to say you all instead of you? One thing you can do on the iPhone, which is kind of cool, you'll see me hold down. Let me go up a little bit. Hold down on the space, space bar, and it see how it goes back? That's kind of cool. And even if I go off screen, it'll still keep going, which is kind of nice. Like if I, let's say I started too, too soon. Let's say I started on this side of the keyboard on the space bar and I, it'll still go. It's really nice. Even though I go off screen, it'll still pull it and go wherever I want. And then I can just pick where I want and then lift up and then I can retype wherever I am. It's kind of a cool, neat, convenient thing. I found it out by accident because <laughs> I did it and I was like, what am I doing? <laughs> but if you hold down on the space bar and move over, and Android does not do this because I've tried it a bunch of times. What well, what I thought was the coolest thing though was is I actually ran out of space when I was doing it because there's a long paragraph. But then it took me all the way back. If I just held it all the way to the left, it would take it all the way back. It was really kind of cool. So that is the tip for today. If anyone has any questions, feel free to interject. Um, those of you iPhone users are welcome to uh, put in. Hey, yeah, Chris, go ahead. You can say something. Oh, you need to unmute that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. yeah, just a comment. Uh, Pixel mm -hmm. might not do it, but Samsung does. Oh, nice. Yep. That's good to know. I have, I have the same cursor control. Excellent. It just turns your keyboard into a trackpad. Oh, nice. Excellent day. Thank you for doing that. Yeah, Pixel does not. So Pixel that's good. Pixel does not. Good to know. Good to know. Excellent. Anybody else have anything on that? Whoops. Negative. All right. And if you are in a paragraph, right. like an email, you can scroll up and down with the space bar too. You just dra drag your finger all Move over. Move your finger up and down. Nice. Just left Excellent. and right. It goes up and down too. Cool. It's really handy. Yeah, no, especially for me, because a lot of times I do voice texting and then the, there's a lot of the words that didn't work or whatever, especially on the iPhone, I found <laughs> more than the Android. But I go up and I use that. It's pretty darn cool because I can go in and retype and do that kind of stuff. It's really kind of cool. I like it. Alrighty, I will end this tip. Let me go to... All right, I'm going to end this tip, and members and I are going to continue conversation in the community. If you watch this in replay, ask any questions in the comments. Appreciate it. Uh, also, if you're interested in becoming a Tinkerman Tech private community member, join us for the next conversation. Just visit tinkeringwithtech.net.